Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Master Quest The Collection videos. On this very dark and evil looking night, we're gonna go somewhere that we haven't been since the last part of this series, which is Lon Lon Ranch. Now, some of you who know what I'm gonna be doing here might think this belongs in the main storyline part, because you might think that it's, uh... Oh yeah, and, um, by the way, as I'm about to look up a note, uh, the clouds have disappeared. Yeah, that's nice, anyway. But uh, some of you might think that this video belongs in the main part of like the storyline. You might think it's necessary to do what we're doing here right now, but you'd be wrong. There are ways around uh, there are ways around doing this particular part here. In fact, you never have to go to Lon Lon Ranch if you really don't want to. Okay, so it's been seven years. We can make a pretty good guess about who this must be. This must be uh, Milan, who taught us the song that we're playing back to her right now. Epona's song. But yeah. People who do speedruns actually skip this uh, area entirely. Because you don't need it. And uh, as you can see, as you can see by the video link, that eats up uh, about, you know, ten and a half minutes, so. Anyways, apparently Ganondorf came into power, of course, and things went bad. However, there seems to be something that Milan has a grasp on here that uh, even Mr. Ingo, who, uh, who, from what we're gathering, must have gone rotten, um, she still has a grasp on one thing that he does not quite have, which is Epona. The horse who, last time we were here, she was just a pony. She was her little pony. So let's go see how Epona's doing now. And there are the clouds, and there they clear up again, okay. The weather changes with much haste in Hyrule. So let's see where Ingo used to be, here in the stable. He's not here anymore, but all the horses are gone, and Epona's here. Epona. <laughs> Milan is here. No, no, no. Okay, it's Milan. And apparently she doesn't quite recognize us from last night. She does, however, give us some information that we don't quite get from anybody else in the game. Like, we get, you know, snips here, bits there, pieces everywhere, but, um... She, you know, kind of gives us this whole what's been going on the last seven years from a Hylian's perspective kind of thing. Like, there's the whole high and mighty, oh, Ganondorf took the Triforce and now it is a place of evil and he uses its power to blah blah blah. But you don't really get the Hylian's point of view very often, so there you go. That's a nice thing to have. But Mr. Ingo has apparently turned into a real dick. So let's see, uh, let's see how Mr. Ingo is doing over here. I forget if he has a particular response to a Pona song. I'll check it out in uh, the um, in the Ocarina of Time videos that I'm doing, just because, like the regular Ocarina. Ooh, he's very impatient with us. The regular Ocarina of Time videos, because I'm not going to be getting a Pona because it is minimalist. But uh, maybe I'll just very quickly take a video of how he responds to a Pona song if he does it all. Anyway, he knows that people are talking bad about him. But he doesn't really give a shit because, after all, he's going to raise a fine horse and give it to uh, give it to Ganondorf. Ganondorf already seems to have a horse that suits him, but uh, eh, why not? You could always use more horses. Maybe, uh, maybe Ganondorf wishes that he was living in Rohan. So let's take a ride on one of his fine horses and uh, see what's going on. Now there are two horses we could ride here. We could ride this uh, brown one over here with the green saddle, or we could go and try and ride the now grown up Epona, who is running away from us, of course, because we haven't played her song. That's right, if you come here and you did not uh, get Epona's song in the past, you will not be able to ride Epona, and you will not be able to get a horse from here. So let's talk about riding horses. You do it like you would running, you know, mainly. You just use the control stick, but there are a few things a horse can do that you can't do alone. First of all, you can hop over gates. Second of all, you can speed up and go really, really fast. Those carrots symbolize how many times you can speed up. If you time it properly, you know, uh, you can go fast for a pretty long time. Now, you notice that they kind of came back. If you expend all of them like I'm doing right here very quickly, then it, then they'll all come back at the same time, but it takes a little while. Like, it takes a little while longer, you, you'll already s slow down to regular speed. So be careful with your carrots if you're doing if you're trying to do something fast because if you just slap Epona constantly, you're not really gonna you know be faster when it comes when it comes down to it. But if you do it properly, you'll you'll always be able to have 
basically maximum uh, carrots if you just do it properly. You'll slow down a little bit, you'll still be going faster, and then the carrot will come back up and bam, you can do it again. And Ingo is, of course, being his douchebaggy self. He's trying to get us out of here. But we still have a few seconds on this horse. We did pay him 10 good rupees. That's, uh, you'll notice we got back. And there we go. So he's trying to run a business here, but he doesn't really care about uh, the people who are paying him. So let's uh, do this one more time. You notice that we talked to him on horseback. And uh, there's one more thing that we can do if we talk to him on horseback a second time. You have to play a bonus song again. It's not like she comes to you automatically. So there we go. I play that song accidentally so much. When I'm trying to do uh, Zelda's lullaby. But there she is. So we climb onto her and... Oh, oh yeah, by the way. You might notice that... Yeah, I did get my 10 rubies back like I pointed out. Um, the way you do that is as long as you're approaching from the uh, western side of the, um, of the ranch and you jump over those hurdles, uh, you will get 5 rupees from each of them. So that's cool. Anyway, let's go over and talk to Ingo. There's one more thing we can do here. And it's the reason why we came here, in fact. Hmm. Sure, we can do that. I'll wager. 50 rupees? Uh, okay, why not? You know what? Let's do it. And here's the real reason why we got Epona for this job, and we didn't want to take the uh, green horse. Or the brown horse, I should say. Whichever color you want to associate with it. It's saddle or it's, uh, it's fur. It's hair. Whatever. Horses have hair, right? They have hair. But yeah, basically, he just kind of challenges you to uh, a race around the corral. Um, it's not all that difficult to beat him, especially with Epona. Epona is a faster horse. But if you're having trouble, you can do this little trick here. If you put uh, your horse slightly in front of his, like so it's bumping into yours, he'll push you ahead. It's a pretty neat trick, and you can actually win the race just by doing that and uh, barely working yourself. And now he's going nuts over the fact that we beat him in the first time, so now he's uh, making an even larger wager. Of course, what he takes from us if we lose, I think he just takes the 50 rupees. If you're playing through this the first couple of times, you might lose to him. And uh, the losing of 50 rupees, especially if you haven't been collecting Skulltulas or turning in your tokens, um, you know, you might have to go around because, you know, you only, you'll be down to, if, especially if you didn't know how to get your rupees back, you'll be down to 49, so it'll be one short. Then you run around, you get some rupees, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, enough, uh, enough chit-chat. After all, we just beat Ingo again, so something's gotta happen. After all, he bet that horse. Yes, that's right, it's the horse that you could never tame, but we did. In one day. Well, we used this one song, you see. The song that you didn't like Milan singing, but you probably should have been listening to because maybe you would recall that opponent came to it. Anyway, now he's acting all smug again. Uh-oh. What's his deal? Oh. Damn it. Now, you might think, oh, okay, we can just kind of jump over that fence, right? No, Epona will not jump over that fence. Whatever Ingo did to put the fear in Epona, it's still sticking. Anyway, let's take a ride around. I mean, this is our entire world now. So, oh well. Although, wait a second. Those, uh, those borders there, they look, they look like something we've seen. They kind of look like the hurdles. What if we were to approach them like a hurdle? Well, go ahead, Epona. Do your thing. And it works. We net ourselves a horse. Apparently, Ingo never believed that somebody would actually try and uh, jump out, which actually I'm kind of surprised we would try jumping out. It looks like there's a pretty long fall from there. Epona must have some really strong legs. Anyway, now that we have got uh, now that we have gotten the horse outside of the ranch, we can ride Epona around, and as and as long as we keep uh, our, that song in our memories, we can just play it, and she'll come to us no matter where we are in Hyrule Field. Anyway, that's uh, pretty much all there is for today. Let's uh, just review what we did. You know, we went back to a place we haven't been to in seven years. We talked with an all grown up Milan, and then we kicked a guy's ass on horseback. Oh yeah. Anyways, that's all for today. 
I hope you all enjoyed this video, and, um, well, I guess I'll talk to you all on the thread. Bye-bye.